All right, so I'm going to be showing how to open up and disassemble this MSI GS66 Stealth 10UE-256US, a bunch of other numbers at the end. Anyways, we're going to use a PH1 or JS1 screwdriver to remove all the screws from the bottom. You want to keep the screws in order because they can be different size, shape, and lengths. The way I do that, put them flat side down like this on my desk in the pattern I remove them. All right, so let's go ahead and remove all these screws. For some reason, this fan, um, they said they dropped their computer, and after that, the fan, the GPU fans, just spin at full speed. All right. So we're just going to remove all the screws, open it up, and see if anything came loose. Earlier, the trackpad randomly stopped working, so um, I guess we'll find out. There's a factory seal here. You want to feel around for the screw. And we'll get that out. Okay. Sorry, I'm like all sick and congested. All right, we've got three screws here. If this video helps you out, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. If it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. So far, it looks like this screw is smaller than the rest. So if you take it out and mix up the screws, hopefully that will help. All right, let's go ahead and try with a suction cup now. Okay. Okay, so we're just pulling this up with a suction cup. And I'm going to kind of hold it down a little bit because I don't want it to just yank the whole cover out too quick. Sometimes that can cause damage. Okay. So we're going slowly working our way up. Let's see if we can get it out like this run my fingernail along the gap while I kind of lift it and it popped out all right so there we go got the bottom cover off it is a little bit dusty so we'll clean that up all right let's go ahead and take a look I don't see anything that's loose so I'm not too sure what we're going to do here um, this looks fine this looks fine that looks fine there's a piece of plastic broken in here. See this this part they had it broke and now it's bent like that. I'm not too sure what would cause it to go crazy. If it dropped hard enough, it could be the GPU got like a crack in it or something. And maybe that's what's causing the problem. Cause the fans seem to spin just fine, so I'm not too sure actually what we do here we have an m.2 ssd here i'm pretty sure it's a pcie nvme held in with some adhesive let's actually take this out actually should we disconnect the battery first okay let's see here we got one screw holding the battery two three screws okay so let's see about taking the battery out we got one screw here and also i didn't mention but there is a battery reset button that you can see through the bottom cover so if you look through here there's a little hole here and that's a battery reset button that will push this I don't know why there's two buttons here but there's this one here and there's one here okay I don't want to mess around with those because I don't know if it can cause some problems usually the battery reset one just uh, resets like the does a battery disconnect and that helps sometimes with some power issues. Okay, we can remove the other screw here. So we got all three screws for the battery. Are there wires going in? Doesn't look like it. Let's see if we can lift it up. Okay, battery lifts out pretty easily. Oh, there's some foil here that you will want to peel up. And you can see this cable is pretty long. I'm going to use my fingernails at the edge of this connector. Let me zoom in. And we're going to use that to kind of wiggle this out. Oh man, this is tough. Okay, and just keep wiggling it. If you can't do that, you can grab the connector as close as possible. And then you kind of just wiggle it. But uh, it looks like it's really tough to pull it out that way. But just keep going. Left, right, left, right. And... Hopefully it should eventually pop out.
Wow, that stuck really strong. Okay, let's see. We're going to have to probably use a little screwdriver or something to go in there and help push it. So we're going to use... What's this? 1.5 flathead. And we're going to push in this little rectangle here. There we go. Okay, battery model number. Or is there a model number here? Here you go. BTY-M6M. We're going to set that aside. It's really dusty, actually. Let me clean that off real quick. Looks like they spilled liquid in here at one point as well. You see this residue here? Let me actually move it around for you to see. There's like some stuff there under the battery. And if I lift this, there you go. You can see there's like some liquid residue in here. So at one point they spilled something on it as well. Okay, um, let's see. I'm going to try the battery reset here. My face is all screwed up. Okay, pretty sure it's this one, so I'm going to press and hold that for about 15 seconds to drain any residual power from there. I'll also open it up and hold the regular power button and see if that makes a difference. Okay. Uh-oh, someone's calling me. I think it's a scam. Alright, let's open this the laptop up carefully. And we're going to hold the power button itself as well, 15 seconds to drain any residual power, make it safer to work on. Okay, again, if this video helps you out, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. If it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing well to the channel. Every little bit helps and it allows me to continue making these videos for a living. All right, let's go back over to the PH1 or JS1 and get this M.2 SSD out. There's a screw here. There's actually also another slot for an M.2 SSD if you wanted to add a second one right here. Okay. I'm going to pull this up carefully. I think there's a thermal pad underneath that's holding it really tight. So you got to carefully lift this up slowly, slowly, very slow. Yeah, that pad is really strong. And you don't want to bend this SSD, so we're going closer to it. All right. And then we're going to pull this out. And yeah, it's M.2, PCIe, NVMe, and a giant thermal pad. All right, I'm going to put this back in at an angle. Just like that. Put that back down. Get that screw back in place. There's the BIOS CMOS RTC real-time clock battery here. If you wanted to remove that, there's the wings. You can kind of just wiggle and pull that connector out. I'm going to leave that in place. There are two slots of RAM here. Okay. Pull these two tabs away from the stick of RAM, it pops up. And here you can see 8 gig PC4 3200 AA. Should be able to use any PC4 3200 AA RAM. So if you want, you can get two 16 gig sticks. <clears throat> All right, click this down. All right, this is really dirty. So I'm going to take this out dust it off and we'll see if anything changes because all these connectors look fine so I don't think moving anything's gonna help you got the wireless card here GPU CPU they're both soldered to the motherboard so you can't upgrade or replace them and that's pretty much all there is in here that I see <coughs> so oh also the speaker connector of course it runs here and then the other speaker the wire goes to the same place. Okay. <coughs> okay, got to clean this up. <coughs> Get out of my throat, please. <clears throat> clean that up, and I'll be back. All right, I'm back. So we clean this out. All right, you can see way less dust in there. But again, I think it's the liquid damage that caused the problem. So all the fans are a lot cleaner now. We're going to put it back together, and then we'll see what happens. All right. Let's see. I think the only thing we need to put back is the battery. So if you put the battery, make sure you put it the right side up, and make sure it goes in straight. You don't want to bend the pins. Okay. 
just like this, line it up and pinch the two pieces together. Then we'll get the battery back into place here. This cable, the battery cable is so long on this model. Okay. There we go. Oh, it's not sitting flat. Okay, let's actually get this lined up right. Okay. There we go. Alright, let's get all these screws back in. This one. This one. Last one over here. Okay, I don't know if this laptop is going to turn on because the customer um, didn't bring the charger. And a lot of times, once you reset the battery and stuff, it's going to need the charger to power back up. So I guess we'll find out. But let's go ahead and click the back in first here. Okay. Let me see if I can actually bend this piece back out. I bend this back out a little bit. Wow, that's really tough to bend. I don't think I can bend it back. Let me try with this so I don't hurt my finger. Kind of, but the plastic also broke. All right, let's see if this will go back in. Good, okay. We'll get these corner edges in. Oh no, it's bent too much out. I'll try and bend this back. Oh, there we go. Okay. Then just get everything lined up, push everything back down. It looks good. All right, and we'll just get all the screws back in, and that's pretty much all there is to this. Um, I know I didn't show completely taking out the motherboard or anything, but. Um, yeah, anyways, hopefully this helped you guys with upgrading, like, the SSD or the RAM or the battery. Okay. Again, if it did, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. If it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Oh, is this... It has to get pulled inwards a little bit here. Okay, there we go, all clipped into place. This piece, can I push that down more? Okay, there we go. All right, let's get all this back into place. And that's pretty much all there is to it. You're welcome to stay as I get all the screws back in. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one. Alright. We'll see if it powers up as well. Plus two screws. Alright, last one. this back over and power it up and see what we got. Is it going to power on? Yeah, I think we need the charger to power it on. Um, he said it's USB-C, so let me try with a try with a Mac USB-C charger. Which one lets you plug it in? This one? Oh, this side. Okay, let's see if this will let me turn it on. There we go. All right, now it turns on, and I can plug it. It's 
it's probably going to take a little while to boot up because we did oh there you go disconnect the battery but um yeah that's pretty much it thanks for watching and i'll see you all in the next one let's drop this bye